morning everybody and welcome back to a new series and I call it back to school as everywhere school started they sent me back to school now too and who is they the first one is Mac from Marshall Archery he said please I do a video instruction a video of how I do fast shooting and then when you see his videos he shoots I don't know one arrow in less than one and a half seconds and uh, very fast very accurate in 20 30 yards stuff like this but you can watch his channel i put the link in the description and they said i will do an instructional video and i send you the first part of it and then i shall go with his instructions and see if i can learn fast shooting like mac from marshall archery for myself prepared first of all of course a snake bow to start with the low poundage and then if it works and how it works and whatever then i will switch to the white genissary from Alibo. The, the nice thing of Max technique is that how he loads the arrows then it's up to you you can shoot then Slavic or you can shoot thumb release so this is nice now we need to see how it works for me here look at those knocks and where they're at okay now I take it I put it on this side the first one and then I click it in and then I pull back ready to fire look where this look at my hand right here pay attention to that cock feather i slide it down come down and then this one just spin it put it down the interesting thing of max way of shooting is that you can shoot simply normal standard arrows so there is no need for any kind of preparation here when you see others like Mihai he prepares his knocks he prepares the arrows here that he can have a better grip on it which makes sense but as said with max technique is you can shoot complete normal knocks complete normal arrows so you don't need to do anything you can shoot every arrow and what he is doing as I saw in this video, he holds the arrows here and he puts them in there between the thumb and the index. But he said then you need to orient the cock feather between these two fingers that you see that the knock looks like this. And then of course it's easy to, to knock. And then you can shoot either thumb or Slavic or whatever you like. So this is the only thing. You need to line up the arrows kind of that the knock uh, cock feather, see now the cock feather is not outside. So I need to make always sure that the cock feather is outside. And then it's relatively easy to do that. So now let's let's try it. So he holds them somewhere, fiddles it around. But now the cock feather is not outside, so that's I don't know how you line it up, Mac. Then you can shoot either thumb or, or do I need to line them up already now here? Most probably. So I need to most probably line them up already here. That the cock feather is outside. Then I drop it down. Then you can, yeah, it's relatively easy. And then you can shoot Slavic or whatever. So with one arrow, okay. With two arrows. So. He either holds them like this. But then again, do I need to line them up before? that they then I, I don't know so this really takes a bit so this is my first lesson my first try this technique i have no idea so i drop this one and then i need to make sure that the cock feather is outside so this is would be now then it's of course easy to knock and shoot and then the next one i would have it now but i don't have the cock feather outside so this is what I still didn't get from this technique. Maybe better shoot different knocks or I don't know. So for me right now, tricky to say at least, but you can get there. I guess with a lot of practice, you can get there and shoot these way. Arrows <coughs> very fast. So let's see again. I put both now in here because I feel for me that this is a nicer way than holding them like like this. So I put them in here. Then you drop the first one back there. 
But then you need to make sure that the cock feather, oat feather, we call it oat feather now, is outside. And then of course it's easy, you can tick, tick, so kind of like this. So the problem right now is that, uh, as written in these ancient texts, the, uh, you are considered a fast archer shooting 10 arrows in 30 seconds. So of course it's not nice if I can do this and shoot three arrows very fast because then you freak out the enemy obviously because he might dodge the first arrow but then the second and the third arrow are coming too already in a very short succession so that's nice but then you need to have a way an, a quiver or something that you grab the next three in a way that you can line them up easily and then of course you're it's like John Wick, he needs to reload his magazine when it's empty, but he needs to do it fast. That you manage to shoot your 10 arrows in 30 seconds. And then I guess it's working. But with this, I only have this one problem right now with this old feather outside there. Which is not working for me yet. And the issue with the old feather is obviously if I grab my arrows now from a quiver or whatever how... How Mac holds them, he simply grabs them like this out of a quiver, lines them up. But I don't have time to line up now the deorientation of the feathers. So if I need uh, the, the arrows, if I need to do that, I'm I'm screwed. So this is I cannot do that. So it needs to happen while I load. So in this moment, if then the cock feather is of course out, it's fine. Then I can knock quickly, shoot, zack not out there and I need to fiddle so I don't know so, but I guess with a lot of practice you will manage that was the one technique and this is the other one let's see yeah I guess with a lot of practice you can get there but now let's see what a 45 pound bow would do so we line them up in next style how oh, he's showing in his videos and I guess the knocks are roughly kind of like here and I said the only thing is the odd feather now I have it the opposite way but it would work to have my fingers between the two feathers could work but sometimes I pinch back there my skin when I, when I, I come back here and then I pinch my skin so maybe some thin leather protection or something here. Sometimes my skin is in the way from the web. I will figure. Oof. Then you load again and you need to see that you don't fall back in old bird habits. Of course, if the cock feather is out and you can hold it like this, it's, but I still pinch my skin, so this is the only thing I don't like that much. But you start simply with one arrow until you get it right and you cannot get it wrong anymore. Then you take two arrows and then so on. It's not so easy, but if it would be easy, everybody could do it. Oh, and 45 pounds? My thumb doesn't like that. The, the other way, of course, more like when you hold the arrows here, then it's not possible to do thumb release because you need your thumb to hold the arrows in place. But if you shoot Slavic, then this is just a nice way to do so. Because you knock completely differently here. Which I think is for me still, feels at least for now a little safer, but matter of practice. But then of course, let's say you can shoot three arrows very quickly, but then you need to grab three more arrows, line them up and shoot them again. Of course, you can shoot these three arrows and in under whatever, through, or let's say three seconds. But then you need to grab there, get the arrows out, line them up, shoot again three arrows. So I'm not sure <coughs> if you need to shoot more arrows, obviously, if like kind of like this way, then I don't need to reload at least with now six arrows or nine arrows. So I simply always line them up here and can, of 
course it's not so fast, but I don't need to reload. So this is, we will figure out which way works better. And I have directed to make now an announcement. Um, in America, there is a board named WFA, and it means the world's fastest archer. And they reached out to me. They started a while ago with the world's fastest drummer. So they, they, they put together some uh, regulations of what it means to be the fastest drummer. So not simply whatever that you... I'm not a drummer, so I have no idea. And they asked me if I could come up with some regulations for how to determine the fastest archer. Because, of course, we know Mihai, he shoots, I don't know, 10 arrows in 10, 12 seconds from a galloping horse. And he hits targets 10, 20 meters, let's say. Fairly accurate. Then we have Lars Andersen, of course, with his techniques. We know it, he shoots everything out of the air. But I don't know if he always does it and I don't know how accurate he is if he needs to shoot 30 meters, let's say, in a fast way. And then we have, let's say, Jeff Osepi. He shoots knockless arrows and he has this video where he shoots five arrows in one second. Again, he shoots only short distance. How would it be on 10, 20, 30 meters? Which, which, you know, which, which, which group size would he be able to shoot? And that's why I think for this, we need some kind of regulation. Uh, what does it mean I am the fastest archer? So for me personally, it's not enough simply being able to shoot three arrows in whatever under three seconds, because then I need to reload. So it's not, a battle is not fought with three arrows. So I need to be capable of continuously shooting fast. So this will be one point that we at least go back to this 10 arrows in less than 30 seconds. So at least we should think about 10 arrows, shooting 10 arrows in a fast way. And then you see how long does it take that you shoot, reload or not reload or whatever. And then we need to define some certain distances. How, you know, how fast are you at 10 meters? I mean, you're always the same speed, most hopefully. But how accurate are you then on 10 meters, 20 and 30 meters, let's say, and what's the target size so that we can determine you're fast and you're accurate. And of course, <clears throat> you need to be powerful enough that the arrow stick in a in a proper target, so not that the arrow bounces off a paper sheet already. So needs to be powerful too. And I asked already Lars, Mihai, Mac, and Dagny. He is a friend of mine. He shoots quite fast and he does not this short draw. He tries to get really the full draw with a crescent moon and then with arrows in the fingers, kind of like a style like Mac does, a little different. And these four guys are on board and they will give me now their ideas of how they see it. And then I will come up with a sheet and then we discuss it and any further. So stay tuned, there's a lot of things to come. I mean, even Ottoman style, they have usually one arrow on, two arrows in their hand here. And then it's simply, and they're considered fast too. So maybe not the highest speed. And then they grab the next grab them directly properly see then you can reload in this technique very fast so that's why i would not limit it now to how you have to hold the arrows or whatever so it's simply the speed ratio the distances accuracy target size and of course powerful enough and then first of all while you stand and the target is standing and then while you move the target is standing while you move and the target is moving so, but back to my school lesson. Oi, oi, oi. So you drop the first one, put it between the web. And best would be if the odd feather would be out. <coughs> Don't know. Maybe you want to shoot this castle nox and you have four feathers on it. Then it's even easier. But this one, I still need to look there because I don't feel it yet. But once you get it, it's not so bad. Of course, I rushed now a bit. Start with one arrow until you get this thing right. And not until you get it right. You practice until you can't get it wrong anymore. Then take two arrows and then take three arrows. And one thing, as I see of some fast shooting archers, 
They shoot then the first arrow. And then they look what the arrow is doing and then they come forward again and shoot. And it's like in some martial art schools, you have a punch, then you wait and then you punch again. No, you don't. So you simply, I call it now Winchester technique, but of course it's wrong. You simply, if when the first arrow is released, you don't wait. You go directly forward again and load the next one. So you don't wait what the arrow is doing. You directly, you release and you go forward almost with the string. So and then you save a lot of time in between. You don't throw, stand there, go forward and put the next one. So this one where you can speed up quite nicely, I guess. But what little do I know. So Mac, that's me with my first lesson. Of course, I will practice, but I will practice one arrow first at a time. That I get this, I have still I not figured out how to hold the arrow. Does it need to be flat here? So I need to know how to hold the arrow. Do I need to hold it that the odd feather is pointing already outside? That when I flip the arrow, uh, yeah, maybe, then I can knock it easily. So this is, I will figure this out until the next time. This is now lesson one in fast shooting a la Mac from martial archery. And of course, we don't start now the discussion, is it useful or when was it used or whatever. There is infantry shooting and there is close quarter combat shooting. So it has a purpose and it's interesting and it's something nice to train. So that's I, all I have for you today, guys. I will keep you updated with my success. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.